Welcome to life on the road. How about life underneath the trailer? So, you know, I try to do a lot of these instructional videos to help you guys out for you guys to understand how to work on your own equipment so you understand it and follow it. And, you know, I, I want everybody to understand how to work on their own equipment if they need to, especially on the side of the road. So today, we are gonna take off this brake drum. That's the basics of it. Um, replacing the brakes on it. But, like I said, I'll show you how to get this brake drum off. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to do some editing with this one. I was hoping to go a little bit quicker. Um, biggest thing is, you know, knowing what you're doing, but following along, keeping tabs on everything. If you have to, take pictures of everything. Um, but read, understand, and this says torque to 15, 23 foot pounds. Um, good torque wrench will help you out with that, but you gotta have a pretty big socket. So realistically, you know, what I just showed you will get the job done. But I think the important thing here is, especially those guys have worked on pinions and rear wheel drive vehicles, will understand. And this old trick I picked up from when I worked on pinions. Rear ends. So there's two tabs in here holding this lock nut. Right here is what I want to show you. One of the biggest things I want to show you. So now I got a reference point. So when I take this nut off and when I put it back on, I come right back to that reference point and line it up exactly the way it came off. You can paint, use a paint strip too if you need to, paint marker. But you might use a lot of brake fluid and cleaning this thing off. There's my reference point that I made right there. I take it, put it face down. That way I have to put it back on, grab it, right back on there. This tooth is keyed, so it only goes on there one way. And these are the tabs that I bent back that held that nut in there. There's the reverse of it, it's holding the other side, but that tab is bent. Lay that face down. Now this one, I will find a different, and yes, I am using a wood chisel can't find my other one. I got two marks on that, that way I know it's the second, second one in there. And marks there, two marks. So I put it all back together, it's exactly where it goes, the way it came off. And before I move any farther, like I said, I like a lot of these how-to videos. I want people to understand what they're doing and working on. I try to put out good content. I know sometimes I don't edit this stuff and I don't really care. I got a million other things to do besides editing YouTube. But point being, do me a favor, hit that like button. More importantly, subscribe. All right, order came off, nut, lock, nut then washer all together exactly the way it came off face down there is a Come on. same thing here you 
quick inspection on that, make sure it's not blue, didn't get overheated. I'll look at it a little bit better. But face down, exactly the way it came off. This thing's coming off easy. Usually you gotta get behind it with a stubby. Wow, that came off easy. And there it is, just like that. When you take that stubby back there, let me show you. Here's a new set of brakes I'm putting on there. You gotta take that stubby right there and work those teeth to shrink that. But now I'm making it bigger. There's a finger right there that stops it from going backwards. So usually that's what you gotta do, shrink that so that drum will come right off. And those look much better than I thought. Actually still got some meat on them, but this is my fourth one, so I'll get that replaced. That's still all intact, wow. Inspect that drum. There it is. That's how you take it off. And obviously to reverse the process, I don't have to show you that. Exactly the same. When I put that nut on there, I'll twist it and line it right up with those marks, notches I put right into that axle. Thank you. And uh, don't forget, please like, subscribe. It's time I get past those, uh, I think 1740 YouTube subscribers. I need more subs. Come on, help me out. Help me out. I'm doing this right. Three and a half years now. It's time to start building that up. And like I said, I try to put out this how to video to help you guys out. Like, subscribe. God bless. Hey, hello. Glad you're still here. I know it wasn't the most interesting video, and most of them are because it's how to videos sometimes are just, uh, oh, they're a little boring, right? Well, you know, I just, I like to put that content out there because I, I try to do something that's different. So, look at this. This is the dirtiest I've ever been in my life working on these trailers. These things are a mess. Hey, why well, I got you here. This isn't a plug. These things are nice. These wipes, they actually do a great job at cleaning up this grease. Anyways, well, that wasn't the point of this. So, what I want to say, since you're still here, you got to hit that like and subscribe button. So, you know, we got a lot of videos out there, Carrie and I both do. But, you know, we need your help. I think the problem we've been lacking all these years is that algorithm. Never really fully understood YouTube. Realize there's an algorithm to it. But the more likes, the more subscribes, the more my content gets played, the better it becomes, the more people see it. And then not only you are watching this fabulous plug, again, it really isn't a plug, on these crocodile wipes for wiping all this grease off, but then more people can. Need your help? Like, subscribe. It's been a long time since I've done some good videos. So point being, for me to do more videos, I gotta start seeing those subs come up. More likes. I gotta work out that algorithm. Help me out. Help me out, and I will put more and more videos out there. Thank you.